Good morning, everyone. What a great day to celebrate in Coshocton County, Ohio. We are honored today to have Governor Mike DeWine visiting with us. He's going to have an announcement here in a few minutes. And at this time, I'd like to introduce and bring him up to the podium. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, Sheriff, thank you very much. Uh, it is uh, it's always good to be in Coshocton. Uh, nice fall day. I'm sure the sun's going to come out shortly, but uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 all, it's all good. Um, maybe just a little, uh, little, little background uh, on kind of how we, we got to today. Um, one of the things that the uh, prisons do uh, is inspect local county jails. Uh, and our uh, head of our prisons, Annette Chamber Smith, is here uh, behind me. And um, we also stay in close contact with our sheriffs around the state. Um, really, uh, that kind of relationship started back when I was a county prosecuting attorney and then when I was the attorney general. Uh, met a lot of times with Buckeye Sheriff's Association, many of our sheriffs, and really started to see what kind of challenges that we have uh, in regard to some of our jails. Uh, so we started then talking with the state legislature and started talking about, you know, what we could do to be of help uh, because some of our communities, frankly, uh, have a very difficult time being able to fix their jails, build a new jail. And working again with, with the state legislature, and let me just say I talked this morning um, to Jay Hottinger, uh, who was not able to be here. And you're going to hear in a moment uh, from Kevin Miller. But they both have been very, very supportive of this, of this project and very, very supportive um, uh, of all things about Shockton County. So you'll hear in a moment from, from Kevin. But we started talking with the legislature as we were writing the capital bill and came to an agreement with the state legislature to put in uh, $50 million in the capital budget for the most neediest jails in the state. And then it, that was passed, and then it came up to uh, decisions about, you know, where to actually spend uh, that, that money. Uh, we had a lot of counties very, very uh, interested. Uh, 51 counties applied for this money. Um, the total amount of money that they were asking for was uh, $368 million. So you can see there was a lot of, uh, a lot of interest uh, in, in this. Um, we looked at this really from the point of view of need. Um, you know, who needed this money the most? Whose jail, frankly, was in the worst condition? And the sheriff will tell you uh, more. Most of you already know about the jail, but um, the sh sheriff will kind of describe the situation with, with the jail. So I'm here to announce a, an award of $10 million, $10 million .1 million uh, to go towards the construction of a, of a, new, a new jail. Um, so we, we hope that that... <clears throat> <laughs> Charlie's in favor of that too. You can tell. Char Charlie, Charlie's all of, all about that. Uh, we're also announcing this morning uh, the additional jails, uh, the additional counties uh, that will receive money. And in fact, from here uh, we're going we're going uh, to Harrison County to make the announcement there. But in addition to Coshocton and Harrison County. Uh, we're also announcing uh, grants for Gallia County, Lawrence County, and Scioto County, uh, as well as the uh, Southeast Regional uh, Center. So those, that will be announced uh, officially in the next uh, hour or so, and uh, we've already informed those, those counties uh, of those, those awards. So uh, we know that... Uh, $50 million is a lot of money, yet it doesn't go too far when we're talking about the needs in the different counties. But it's, it's you know, my honor to be here. 
uh, as, as your governor to, to make the announcement uh, that Coshocton County is getting this award. Uh, we know it is very, very much uh, needed. Uh, Andy Wilson, uh, who heads up our, our criminal section, uh, has actually toured your jail and uh, came back and, and reported about it. Uh, he did that at the request of the, of the sheriff. So let me, let me turn it uh, back to the sheriff, who can talk a little bit, and then we'll hear from the commissioners, um, and we'll also hear from Kevin then. Thank you very much. Sheriff. Thank you, Governor DeWine. That is huge news for Coshocton County. That is one step closer to setting the pace for our future and providing accountability for our community. And we do thank you very much. I have a large, large list of people that I want to acknowledge uh, that were part of this grant project. Um, as Governor DeWine stated, we they allowed $50 million to be distributed amongst the most needy. And I'm not happy to state that our jail was one of the top five within the state of the most need. However, thank goodness that the 133rd General Assembly introduced and passed the legislation to allow this funding to take place. This all happened in 2020. This project is not something that happened overnight. A lot of folks have put hours and hours of information and coming up with ways of funding and the passage and then the selection process. So this is something that's been going on for a long time. Um, I want to give, uh, like I said, the 133rd General Assembly uh, our thanks for the passage and, of course, Governor DeWine for signing that bill. And that was Senate Bill 310 that allowed this to happen. I'd also like to thank Senator Jay Hottinger, who was unable to make it today. Um, very huge advocate for Coshocton County has made many visits to our facility, the Justice Center, went back and mingled in uh, with the inmates to actually see, as I said earlier today, site cells. For those who have not physically witnessed the inside of our facility, words alone can't explain how dire the need is. So Senator Hodinger, uh, we thank you um, to our County commissioners, both current and past, hours and hours went into being the voice for Coshocton County to our legislators to come up with funding to create the awareness of our need. And with that, thank you, commissioners. Uh, I can't thank you enough. You, should, you really should be up here. <laughs> um, and to the staff of the uh, commissioner's office, there's uh, command or support staff outstanding. Everything you see here today was due to their efforts, and thank you, ladies, very much. Um, to our county prosecutor, Jason Given, who again uh, was unable to attend, we do have uh, Ben Hall, the assistant prosecutor here today, um, for all their legal advice and expertise in uh, leading us in the right direction. I want to make sure we, uh, I know my apologies up front should I leave anyone out, but the list still continues. Um, to the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, the Bureau of Adult uh, Detention, Director Annette Chambers-Smith for the tedious hours spent going through these 52 applications, I believe, and over $360 million of requests. I know how big our application was. I can't imagine going through over 50 applications and deciding which application warrants this type of money. 
or this type of award. Uh, to Mr. John Adams, who was a huge advocate for Coshocton County, he firsthand, uh, knowledge, or firsthand knowledge of going through our facility and has been going through our facility for quite a few years, um, has uh, spoken very, very highly uh, of our personnel uh, and the efforts that we have made in trying to comply with all the state minimum jail standards. However, the current facility that we have does not permit or allow us to comply. So the only option for us is to actually build a new facility um, so that we can then get back in good graces with the DRC. And I will tell you this, uh, I got a, received a phone call from Mr. Adams uh, earlier this week and said that uh, Director uh, Chamber Smith wanted to speak with me. Well, I wasn't sure whether to run or <laughs> or whether to jump up and down for joy, because when the director wants to talk to the sheriff, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to get scolded really, really bad, or good things are coming. And thank goodness for the latter. Uh, when she made the announcement, um, of course, the excitement was overwhelming. Um, I wanted to, of course, I was told to keep it in high, uh, high secret or high confidence and it's like how do you hold something like that in but anybody that knows me knows that I I able to hold things close to my chest uh, the same as uh, Mr. Adams because <laughs> he wouldn't give me any hints so he did very well so but thank you uh, Annette and uh, John for for selecting us as being one of the awards. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, next on the list is Mr. Gary McAnally with uh, Wachtel McAnally Architect. Without his efforts and his data that he made available to me to be inserted into the application, we would not have been able to present really the facts and the need and the estimated cost of this facility to the Bureau of adult detention. Next on the list is Mr. Dave Robinson and Mr. Tim Bigham from the Montrose Group who assisted me in the application process with their expertise and knack of putting the words in the right order and I'm sure they had to change some of my order around <laughs> uh, to make it uh, make sense but with their efforts and lobbying, um, again, made this all happen. Our executive director of our Port Authority, Mrs. Tiffany Swigert, she's a rock star. She has received numerous calls from me and assisted our community in finding a location that is doable and accessible not only to the city but to the rural community and with the amount of acreage available for future expansion and when I say future I'm hoping 30 years out so that'll be beyond my retirement but <laughs> there is plenty of room for expansion so with that Tiffany, you are truly an advocate for Coshocton County. Uh, her passion is Coshocton County, and we dearly love her and, and the position that she is in today. And to all my uh, staff and support at the Sheriff's Office, it goes without saying you're at the very bottom, but definitely not the least to be acknowledged because without your support, and allowing me to do my job, none of this would have been capable. All of the staff at the Sheriff's Office has worked super hard and it just has been a pleasure. It allowed this process of the application to be a pleasure to do because I always was able to bounce questions off of them and, 
and they were always uh, able to give me uh, the support and the advice. So with that, to all the command and support staff at the Sheriff's Office, I thank you. I believe um, at this time, I'm again, my apologies should I have left anybody out in the application process for this grant. Uh, I do apologize, but uh, at this time, I would like to invite Director Annette Chambers-Smith of the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections and the Bureau of Adult Detention up here to say a few words. And thank you. I can't hold the excitement in any longer. <laughs> Well, I think the sheriff did a really great job of thanking people, but there are a couple more I'd like to add. Um, the County Commissioners Association, and particularly Mr. Lights, and the Buckeye State Sheriff's Association, particularly Bob Cornwell, did assist us in creating an application process that would be fair. As the sheriff and the governor mentioned, uh, a lot more need than dollars, so we wanted to make sure we really did get the dollars pointed at where the need was best. And I'd like to point out that the staff working here do a fabulous job. And what we're hoping is with a physical plant to match that you'll really be able to rehabilitate people. There are certainly mental health spaces and other rehabilitative areas. They're gonna be put in this jail that you just don't have right now. And that'll help your citizens mend their lives before they need to come see me, right? And that's what it's all about. Keep people in the community, help them rehabilitate and help them get back on their feet so that we don't have to have them continue progressing through the system. I know that the physical plant you're getting ready to build will assist you with that. It'll help with the mental health and with the substance abuse issues that some people are presenting. So it's not just a place for incarceration and safety, although that's certainly a big part of its role. It will also be a place where people can get the things that they need to help mend them and move them back into the community as citizens and neighbors. So I'm really pleased to be a part of this process and work with the Coshocton team because they've really done an excellent job and they've they made you proud. So thank you for being here today. I'm glad to see this much interest. Uh, maybe some of you can volunteer at the jail later when it's built and help them out with their mission. Thank you, Director. And at this time, I'd like to present uh, Kevin Miller, our state rep. Thank you so much, Sheriff. Uh, so first of all, uh, I spoke to Senator Hottinger and uh, told him that uh, I would certainly uh, express uh, his appreciation to the administration, to the governor, um, and also the director personally here since he was unable to make it. Um, so I'll be begin my remarks with, so yesterday I was looking through Facebook and this feed came up and uh, I saw the mayor being put in handcuffs at the career center and I was like holy smokes and uh, here I am today and we're talking about a jail so hope hopefully the two are not are not connected and that wasn't a premonition or anything um, but uh, so in, in all reality in all seriousness um, this is a big deal um, you know 50 million dollars in Senate bill uh, 310 uh, and, and just over 10 million, million are coming right, right here to Coshocton. That, that's a huge deal. Um, and that's, that's made possible um, by the administration, by, by, the, by the governor here. Um, uh, so once again, I, I can't say enough, uh, uh, thank them enough for their support. I came on, in on the heels of this, so as much as I'd like to take credit for this, uh, I, I can't. The ball was already rolling. Um, but. Uh, that takes me to my next point. Uh, as you heard all the people that were involved with that, um, here, here in Coshocton, it, it didn't take me long to, to figure out what you have is, is a bunch of very strong leaders here. Um, starting, uh, you know, the commissioners, um, great guys, you know, Dane, Rick, um, Gary, uh, super, super folks that continue to advocate uh, for the county here. Um, Tiffany, as well, does, does a great job. Can't say enough about them. It, it certainly makes uh, my job very easy when we have folks like this that I get to, to work with and, and communicate with. Um, so I, I'm just extremely, extremely fortunate. As we know, adequate 
Uh, jail facilities, detention facilities are essential to, to run a, a criminal justice system. So uh, with my background in law enforcement with the Highway Patrol for 22 years, I certainly know what it means to, uh, to have a, a jail that's adequate. And it's nice to see that uh, we're going to be able to do that here in Coshocton and address some of the deficiencies that we've had over the years. So um, I'll wrap it up here. I just uh, appreciate uh, everything that, that everybody's done to, to make this a reality. Um, I can't say thank you enough to, to the governor and uh, in the DRC as well. So um, with that, I appreciate everybody coming out here um, to help support um, the sheriff um, and, and all of us. So um, have a great day and try to stay uh, dry. <laughs>